Imagine this, you're flooded with DMs on Instagram and each one of those DMs is a potential client waiting for your reply. But there's a catch, you're only one person and there's only so many hours in a day. What if I told you there's a way to instantly respond to all of those messages book in appointments and all of that without lifting a finger. Welcome to the future where AI is able to automatically respond to all of your incoming messages 24-7, 365 days a year. Today I'm gonna walk you through the entire process from A to Z of setting up your own AI appointment setter and integrating it into your Instagram DMs. By the end of this video, your AI appointment setter will be fully operational and I have a little hidden gem at the end of this video which is gonna help you close more DMs on Instagram. Now, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. All right, I hope you're ready to start automating your Instagram DM replies with an AI appointment setter because I'm about to walk you through the full guide, provide you with the templates, and show you how to set everything up. Let's jump right into it. But before we do, I just want to give you a breakdown of what we're going to be building, what is possible in the space, and what you're going to need in order to set this up. So what we are going to be building is, a, in comparison to what we do at the agency, a very simple AI appointment setter who simply qualifies qualifies users by asking three questions and then offers to book in a call. Based on their response to the offer of booking in a call, we're either going to send them the link to book in a call or we're going to give them a backup offer and send them the link to our community. This AI appointment center is going to be able to respond to inquiries 24-7 and it can also be integrated with more than just Instagram. You can integrate this into Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Telegram and more. But as I said before, this only scratches the surface of what is possible and we have a ton of value coming up in our school community which you can find at school.com slash OmniFusion. Now at our agency OmniFusion AI, we actually specialize in AI appointment setters and I just want to give you an idea of what is possible when you do this professionally. Now, obviously the template provided in this video is very basic. However, if you want to test one of our appointment setters, you can go to instagram.com slash AI closer and test one for yourself. Our appointment setters are able to sync all data into our CRM. It scrapes the profile of a user who is reaching out to accurately identify their name. It follows advanced and complex scripts, it handles objections, it's able to do automated and custom follow-ups, it's able to book in appointments through organic conversation without sending out a Calendly link, it has knowledge on your products and services and can answer questions, and much more. If you're interested in getting an AI appointment center built for you by us in a professional way, just go ahead and visit omnifusion.ai and book in a call and we'd love to discuss the possibilities with you. Now that we've gone over all of that, we are ready to jump right into it. And what you're going to need in order to set up this AI appointment center are just three things. You are going to have to sign up to ManyChat and connect your Instagram account. ManyChat is what we're going to be using as the front end to send out the messages. They are a verified meta partner, meaning that there's no risk to your Instagram account whatsoever by automating these messages. And all you need to do is sign up to ManyChat, connect your Instagram account, and you are done. The second thing is going to be to sign up to VoiceFlow and let me walk you through that right now. Now when you're on the VoiceFlow homepage, all you need to do is navigate over to pricing. What you're going to need is the professional plan for $50 a month. So it is a very, very affordable option. If you take the annual billing, you can save an additional 20%. The link to sign up to VoiceFlow is down below in the description. And once you've signed up, all you're going to need to do is keep watching this video and import the template, which I'm going to provide. Now, once you have your many chats set up and your Instagram account connected, as well as your voice flow and all of that set up, the third thing is going to be to sign up to our school community, because that is where you're going to be able to access access all the templates one off the many chat template as well as the voice flow template for the AI appointment center. So simply go ahead, go to school.com slash omnifusion or click the link down below in the description and sign up to our community. You're going to be able to access all the templates and resources which we offer for free over there. And now we're basically ready to start building. These are the steps we're going to walk through. First of all, we're going to adjust the appointment center template in VoiceFlow, and I'm going to show you how to import that template as well. Number two, we're going to have to access the ManyChat template and connect voice flow with many chat then we're going to go ahead and adjust our triggers in many chat based on when we want the ai to engage and i'm going to give you guys a secret hack for outreach and inbound at the end 
of this video. All right, so once you've gone ahead and joined our school community, go over and head over to the classroom. And in here, you're going to see a course which is dedicated to this specific video. Inside of that course, you're going to be able to find the voice flow template and ju just go ahead and download that file. Once you've downloaded the file, go back into voice flow, go into your voice flow dashboard. And in the top right, you can find the import.vf file button. Go ahead and click that, select the file that you just downloaded from the school and then you are done. Once that template has been imported, this is what you're gonna see, and this is the AI appointment center, which we are gonna be integrating into your Instagram DMs. Now, I'm just gonna walk you guys through how the appointment center works one time, and then I'll let you know what specifics you need to adjust in order to make this work for your business. So in this case, this AI appointment center is acting as myself, an AI appointment setting coach who helps busy entrepreneurs automate their inbound DM traffic. I'll just go ahead and start a conversation right here and walk you guys through that conversation. So let's say somebody's reaching out to that AI on Instagram. Hey, how's it going? Quick question for you. How many inbound DMs do you get per day? So that is our first qualifying message. I'll go ahead and respond. I get around 50 to 100 DMs a day, which is not a rare occurrence for some of our clients. That's quite a lot of DMs. Do you handle them all by yourself or do you have a team to help you out? I have two VAs, but I mainly do it myself. Now we're going to have the third qualifying question. That's impressive that you handle most of it yourself. Have you considered using AI appointment setters to streamline your appointment setting? It can save you a lot of time and effort. Yes, that sounds interesting. And now since I have agreed to this statement, that's great to hear. To learn more and schedule a call, please visit calendly.com slash test. Looking forward to connecting with you. And at this point in time, the AI turns itself off and I'm going to show you guys how to set that up in ManyChat as well, where you're going to be able to be notified and have a tag added in ManyChat based on if they received the link to book a call. Now, if I would have not agreed to book a call, we would have told them that they can join our school community for more information and send out the link to the school community. Now, as I said before, very basic, but this does work and it's going to be able to automate your DMs. Now, what do you need to do on your end in order to make this template suitable for yourself? What you're going to have to do is number one, adjust the system prompt. So you just need to go into this first field over here where it says system prompt and go ahead and adjust some variables. So if your name is Thomas, you're just going to go ahead, replace my name and add in Thomas. And as well as that, you're going to change all of the other things too. So you might be a health coach um, who helps busy mothers and fathers become fitter without wasting any time, right? So just give them some context here on who they are and what they are doing. Then you need to go ahead and go into each and every one of these steps. Don't need to worry about any of this. All you need to do is adjust this. The user just reached out to you. That is fine. Briefly respond to them and then end your message by asking, for example, instead of how many inbound DMs they currently receive per day, we could be asking how much they currently weigh or what their fitness goals are, if they want to build muscle or lose weight and so on. Then moving on to the next step, what you're going to have to do is adjust this first part where you give it context on what it previously asked. So you previously asked the user, for example, how much they currently weigh. In response, the user sent you this message. Briefly respond to their message. And then once again here, you are going to adjust the question that is asked by asking if, da da da, whatever you want to ask, by asking if they are currently going to the gym, by asking if if they are currently on a diet. And then you go ahead and do the same for this block right here, where you again provide context on what you just asked the user. Then you can pass along the response, nothing to change there. And then all you, all you need to do is ask your third qualifying question. If you want, you can spin this out. All you need to do in order to do that is just copy and paste this, disconnect this node, and then just add this in between. And then you can add in a fourth question, a fifth question, or a sixth question as well. For the sake of this video, we're going to keep it at three. Now, once they answer this question, we are giving them a qualification um, or we're giving them a, a response based on what they said. If they agreed, send them this link to schedule a call. If they didn't agree, tell them that you're here to help if they need anything else and that they can join our school community for more information. And that is basically it. Now you can adjust this as needed. And if they agreed, you can tell them this. If they didn't agree, you can tell them that. Put in whatever you want. And all you need to do in order to test your AI is run it up here and just walk through the conversation. And you can reset the test as many times as you want and keep on retrying until you're happy with the result. Now, once you're happy with your result, what you're going to have to do is go ahead and click on publish in the top right corner that is going to go ahead and publish 
your project. Next step is going to be to head over into the left bar where it says integration, go on to dialogue API. And over here, you're going to go ahead and copy out the API key. This is what we're going to use to connect voice flow to many chat and which we're going to be able to send out messages to the users on Instagram. Now that the AI appointment setter is done, the next step is to integrate the appointment setter into ManyChat. For this, go back into the school, go back into the resource hub where you can find the exact template for ManyChat. What you're gonna do is import, click on the link, import that template into your ManyChat, and then you're gonna arrive on this screen, which you're about to see next. So this is the page that you're gonna be on when you import the template. All you need to do is hit save to ManyChat, select which ManyChat account you wanna to save to, which in your case should only be one. And then you should be on this page right here. The first thing you're gonna do is go ahead and drag the trigger over here. And that is it. From here on out, all you need to do is go ahead and take the API key, which you just copied and add it in everywhere over here. On top of adding in the API key, what you need to do is replace the version ID with production and that is it. Go ahead and do that with this step, this step, this step, and this step right here. Once you've replaced the API key and you've written production in all of these steps, all you need to do is go to this one right here, actions number three, and create a Google Apps script. The reason why you need to do this is sometimes a message can break the code. Nothing to worry about here. If you're in the more clients with AI school community, you head over to the classroom, click on the resource hub, and you find the full template in the under voice flow integrations, all you need to do is scroll down to the bottom and go ahead and deploy this right here. Then you're going to have a URL, just follow these instructions, you're going to get out a URL and you're going to add in this URL up here. That is all you need to do. Once you've done all of that, all you need to do is go ahead and hit update right here. Now what we're going to want to do next is set up a trigger. Currently, when a user sends a keyword, this is going to trigger, but we want it to trigger with every single message this account gets. What we're going to do for that is go over to settings, Instagram, and go ahead and select a default reply right here. Go ahead and select the flow that you set up and click pick this automation. Now, when we go back into the flow, as you can see, we have a default reply right here. Now, what's essential is that you make sure that you click on the default reply and ensure that it's set to every time. Otherwise, it will only respond once per 24 hours. What we can also do is go ahead and remove the other trigger. Just go ahead and delete that. Now, let's go ahead and check if this actually works. So what I'm going to do in order to test that is simply go ahead and send a message to auto I GDM, which is the account that I'm testing with, go ahead and send a text test message. And I'm just going to say, Hey, and we're going to see what response we're going to get back in just a second. Hey, how's it going? Quick question for you. How many inbound DMS do you get per day? Now I can go ahead and continue that conversation. Say I get around 50 DMS a day and the AI is going to come back and respond and walk me through the flow. That's a lot of DMs to handle. Do you manage them all by yourself or do you have a team to help you out? And now it's gonna walk me through this entire conversation. So as you can see, it was super, super easy to set this up, but now I wanna set up something where once we have, as you guys know over here, once we go ahead and send out these links, the AI appointment setter does not continue the conversation. So in order to ensure that there are no more replies being sent and that you are notified based on the outcome for a specific lead, we are going to go ahead and set up some mapping inside of ManyChat. All we need to do for that is after here, we are going to set up a condition where we're gonna select custom user field and we're gonna say last reply. If last reply contains Calendly.com, that means that we sent out Calendly link. If last reply contains school dot com. That means that we sent out the school link. Uh, if we sent out the Calendly link, we want to add a tag to this user, which we can do by selecting an action, clicking on add tag, and then we just simply go ahead and click call link sent. Or if you want to set up your own tag, all you need to do is click on plus tag and set up a tag for yourself. Uh, if the message contains school, then we want to go ahead and add a tag. And for this, I'm going to create a new tag, which is school link sent. And now we can filter all our conversations in ManyChat by going over here and simply filtering by a specific tag. So we're clicking here, going to condition, 
tag is calling sent or schooling sent and then you can see all conversations who are at that point in time now going back into the template once we sent the school link or the cali link we want to turn off the ai and in order to do that all we need to do is go to the very beginning of the flow and add in a condition at the beginning where we're going to check if the tag is schooling sent or the tag is calling sent and it only needs to match any of the following conditions make sure to change this to any then we're going to do absolutely nothing and if we don't have the tag then we're going to go ahead and send a message now let's update this right now and we're going to go ahead and test this out finish the conversation yes i have two vas we're going to get back a response in just a second that's great yes sounds interesting and now we're going to go ahead and get the calendar link and now we're going to check out the tags inside of many chat that's great to hear to learn more obviously this is a test link so we have a 404 error but if we go back into many chat and we go ahead and click on my account right here then you can see that we've added the tag call link sent to my contact so now if i filter by tag tag is call link sent and I go ahead and apply that condition. Then we're going to go ahead and see my conversation. We're going to see the call link sent. And now that the link has been sent once in conversation, if I say something else, it is no longer going to respond to my message because we have set up the condition at the beginning that once the link to book a call has been sent, the AI no longer engages. And that is how you are able to integrate an AI appointment center into your Instagram DMs, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, etc. All done with you. All you need to do is download the templates as I said, school.com slash Omnifusion, link down below in the description. You can get all the templates from this video for free and get your own AI appointment setter set up inside of your Instagram DMs within about 10 minutes. Now, in terms of my secret hack for outreach and inbound, we actually have a tool which is called autoigdm.com. Now, autoigdm is a Chrome extension which allows you to automate cold outreach. And I'm going to link a video somewhere here on the screen where my business partner, Sada, explains exactly how to use auto IGDM to automate your outreach on Instagram. Now, the cool thing is, and this is the hack, and this is what we're going to be teaching in our school community very, very soon, is how you are able to automate outreach on the one hand, and then as soon as somebody replies to your outreach message, you can go ahead and have your AI appointments that are there and automatically close them on autopilot. Just imagine the possibilities with this of sending 50 DMs per day to a laser targeted audience. And as soon as somebody replies, your AI is there 24 seven to close them. If you want to learn more about that, go ahead and join our school at school.com slash Omnifusion. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope you found some value and I hope that this AI appointment center is going to benefit you and make it easier for you to manage your Instagram DMs. You can play around with all of this or just go ahead and join the school community. Ask any questions you have there. And I'm going to be sharing a lot more advanced stuff in the future. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, leave a like on the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.